Let's get right into it. Number 8. Your stomach is melting itself. You've probably been told since high school biology that your stomach uses a ridiculously powerful corrosive substance to break down your lunch. We're talking about hydrochloric acid, which, fun fact, is the same stuff used in industrial cleaning to dissolve metal. But think about this. Your stomach is made of meat. If the acid is strong enough to chemically murder a steak, why is your stomach lining not currently, shall we say, vaporized? The answer is a protective mucus layer that is thicker than your patients during a slow Wi-Fi connection. This layer of mucus is basically a biological riot shield, constantly being replaced and thickened to neutralize the acid before it can start digesting your actual organ. If that mucus layer fails, even a tiny bit, you get an ulcer, which is essentially a small hole burned into your stomach wall by the same chemicals that are supposed to be helping you. So, every single day, your stomach is engaged in a low-stakes, high-stakes battle against self-destruction, and the only thing stopping you from being a puddle of self-digested goo is a coating of slime. Your body is a masterpiece of self-sabotage and instant repair, all at the same time. Number 7. You are taller in the morning. This one sounds like a ridiculous gym bro conspiracy theory, but it's absolutely true. You go to bed one height, and you wake up slightly, maybe half an inch taller. Don't get too excited, though. It's not a permanent growth spurt. It all comes down to the squishy, gelatinous discs of cartilage between your vertebrae, your spine. Throughout the day, as you're fighting gravity, walking, sitting, and generally existing, the weight of your body slowly compresses these discs, squeezing out the fluid that gives them their lovely bounce. Think of it like stomping on a sponge all day. Then, when you finally get horizontal and go to sleep, with gravity off your back, those discs slowly rehydrate and expand, like tiny, thirsty sponges. So you are technically at your most magnificent, tallest, most stretched-out self right as you crawl out of bed, only to immediately shrink back down by happy hour. Basically, your body spends all day fighting its own design, and your nervous system is just throwing a tantrum in your honor. Number 6. Wood is thicker than glass. When you think about stopping a high-speed projectile, what do you picture? Obviously, something dense and transparent, right? Well, toss that assumption in the trash, because when it comes to x-rays, a simple piece of wood is far better at blocking the radiation than a pane of glass. This seems fundamentally wrong because glass feels solid, heavy, and impenetrable, whereas wood is often thought of as relatively porous and organic. But it all comes down to density and the elements involved. Glass is largely made of silicon dioxide, which is pretty light and lets the x-rays cruise right through. Wood, on the other hand, is mostly carbon, hydrogen, and oxygen elements, with a structure that just happens to be denser in terms of packing atoms, making it more effective at scattering those high-energy photons. So, the next time you're worried about accidental x-ray exposure, don't hide behind the office window. Find a nice, dense oak desk. Your furniture is literally a better shield than the wall of a fish tank. Number 5. Ants don't fall. No, seriously. Put an ant on a ceiling, or on the underside of a leaf, and no matter what physics dictates, it simply won't plummet to its doom. We, as humans, are constantly battling gravity. We trip, we slip, and if we try to hang upside down, the world wins pretty quickly. But ants? They can scale vertical glass and walk upside down for hours without breaking a sweat, or, you know, breaking their neck. The trick is less about superhero grip strength and more about a tiny, beautiful lie called the van der Waals force. When the ant's minute foot pads covered in microscopic hairs get incredibly close to a surface, this weak, residual electromagnetic attraction between the molecules is activated. The cumulative power of millions of these tiny forces across the ant's little feet creates a super sticky bond. It's not glue, it's not suction, it's just physics being intensely polite to the insect kingdom. They don't defy gravity, they just use chemistry to casually ignore it. Number 4. Your liver can regrow. If you were to lose an arm, that arm is gone forever. If you were to lose a large chunk of your kidney, you're in serious trouble. But your liver? That spectacular, multitasking organ is the only internal organ in your body that can fully regrow itself back to its original size, even if you lop off as much as 75% of it. This isn't just cell repair. It's proper regeneration that takes place through a rapid increase in cell division. 
Surgeons frequently take advantage of this when performing liver transplants from living donors, where they can confidently remove half an adult's liver and watch it grow back in both the donor and the recipient within months. Think about that. You have a biological cheat code inside you that allows an organ the size of a football to behave more like a starfish than a human component. It's an evolutionary insurance policy against toxicity and damage, which is pretty handy, considering how we treat it. Number 3. Sand is not what you think. You walk on the beach, you build sand castles, you get it stuck in places where the sun don't shine, and you assume it's just tiny little rocks. Which is mostly true, but the composition is far weirder than rock dust. In tropical areas, especially near coral reefs, a massive portion of the white, pristine sand you're sinking your toes into is actually fish poop. Specifically, parrotfish, which look like brightly colored, aquatic goofballs, spend their entire lives scraping algae off dead coral with their beak-like teeth. They ingest the coral skeleton along with the algae. Their incredible digestive system grinds it all up, and then they excrete it as fine, white sand. One single parrotfish can produce hundreds of pounds of this stuff every year. So, that idyllic vacation spot you just paid thousands of dollars to visit? You're walking on, playing in, and potentially tracking into your rental car, the digestive byproduct of a brightly colored bony fish. Welcome to the geological cycle, it's surprisingly gross. Number 2. The hot water effect. Here is a fact that violates basic physics and common sense. Hot water can freeze faster than cold water. This is known as the Mpemba effect, and it has baffled scientists for decades, even Aristotle noticed something similar. If you take two identical containers of water, one hot and one cold, and put them into a freezer, the hot one will sometimes turn to ice first. While there's no single universally accepted explanation, the leading theories involve weird concepts like the faster evaporation in the hot water reducing the mass that needs to be cooled, differences in dissolved gases, or the way the cooling hot water affects the frost layer in the freezer. Basically, the universe is telling you that sometimes, taking the long, hot route is actually the fastest way to get to absolute zero, just to mess with your expectations. Number 1. You share DNA with bananas. You are a complex, conscious primate, with opposable thumbs, capable of building rockets and writing poetry. A banana is a yellow, peelable mush. Yet, you share a truly surprising amount of genetic material with this tropical fruit. Specifically, about half of your DNA is identical to a banana's. Now, before you start having existential crises about your lineage, understand that DNA is just a code for building life, and a lot of that code covers the basic, essential operations necessary for any living thing, cell repair, metabolism, energy conversion. Those are the universal instructions that haven't changed much over billions of years. So, while you and a banana are separated by millions of years of evolution, at the fundamental level of how to be alive, you're practically cousins. That's all for today. I'll be making similar videos in the future. Subscribe to see them.